starting the day, Sunday, Memorial Weekend. Oh, and will this virus ever end? But there's an infinite number of viruses in our lives always. Awesome, so they, uh, Savvy Seven, hey, uh, Seal, Caveta, Chelsea, hello, beautiful day, Stephanie, hello to everyone. Welcome, beautiful day in the universe, and we're all just doing our very best today as every single day. And we're talking about fertility on CNY Fertility. This is the Fertile Fireside Chat, but my fire's over there because the day is back there and it looks so nice outside. Summer is almost upon us. Hey, Robin, hello. How are you doing? Good morning. Uh, Chris, Ann, hello. Ashley, good morning. Maggie, good morning. Russia, good morning. And uh, Savvy Sabin. Uh, let's see, Zach Bush. I was just, uh, my good friend Mark Bidnacka sent me a link. I'm going to take a listen. Uh, and just my quick couple of minutes of it is that all this stuff in the universe about how terrible this virus is, has been here and it's everywhere, not just this one, but infinite number of microorganisms. And my sense is we're alive because of it. And, um, and all this fertility stuff that we're suffering from has to do with what's going on in here and guess what? Deep inside here. I'm going to answer some questions. Uh, and uh, let's see. Um, and just have a good conversation another Sunday morning. I'm going to take next week off, uh, a whole week, uh, Monday uh, through probably the following Wednesday. A little bit of downtime to uh, just adventure in some other things, by the way. Deep, uh, hello, good morning. Helen, good morning. DMAC, good morning. Uh, blessing around, blessings to all of us, by the way. And uh, there's this higher energy that is that vibration of life within all of us. And we have to tap into it. Remember, the stress and the strain of the day and what's going on in our lives is just the nature of the universe. And we have control over the thinking mind, right? You can change it. But you got to practice it like every day. Start the day with thank you, God, Lord, Creator, Nature for this awesome, amazing day. And remember, O M A D, one meal a day, OMAD, plus the daily OM, right, which is about the meditation, prayer, visualization. And get off of the treadmill of life, slow it down. Don't, don't be afraid to make some really bad art. Because through art and creativity and lots of mistakes, that's how the fertility of the universe unfolds for all of us, by the way. Chris Ann, thanks for joining, by the way. I love the live chats also, by the way. By the way. And I do happen to say, by the way, a lot. I was reminded yesterday in the office, by the way. But, I don't know. You know, it's sort of like, uh, I don't know. All right. Uh, thank you very much to everyone, by the way. Uh, is there anything other than the obvious that I have to not eat or drink in the two-week wait? Well, uh, let's see. Hmm. Water. Coffee, tea, a little bit okay. Slow it down. Get off the treadmill. Skydiving, horseback riding, uh, or running, uh-uh. And for me, it's the kilt is keto, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, and ice cream. And then my theory is the vegetables are the predators and we're the prey. But that's a whole other thing about, uh, but basically it's, keto is kick-ass amazing. It's the thing that I recommend more than anything. It really, really, really works. There's so many that suddenly, voila, a baby on natural, it improves sperm, eggs, embryos, and remember, the gut, when you feed the gut a ton of vegetables, fruit and fiber, you're feeding the microbiome who loves all the sugar, and it makes heat, gas, alcohol, aldehydes, and deadly to you, your babies, and all of this craziness, by the way. Uh, let's see. So check out Maria and Craig Emmerich stuff and check out my uh, keto book magazine on Amazon uh, and see what you think. All right. PCOS, how common is it that the letrozole 5 milligram doesn't produce a large enough follicle after nine days? It's not so uncommon. Try the 10 milligram 
Don't forget the ovacetol or inositol and Kilsis Keto. That is kick-ass. Amazing, by the way. Uh, and Keto, and by the way, we're going to count them. Maybe Brother Ray is out there and he'll count them for me. Uh, but it's very common that Clomid or Letrozole for the metabolic syndrome, prediabetes, PCOS or PCOS-like does not respond. Go to the one meal a day, two at the most, add the fat, that'll help a lot. And don't forget acupuncture, massage, meditation, prayer, and visualization. It really, really helps tremendously, by the way. By the way. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Prussian, Prussian blue. Uh, Joe, Nicole. Uh, uh, Yuan, 1980, how you doing? What, uh, what about if you have hyperthyroidism? Now, hyperthyroidism, the endocrine system is really out of whack in all of us. Men's hormones, women's hormones, the thyroid gland is so sensitive to environmental factors, mostly what we drink and breathe and eat, and all those factors affect every nook and cranny of our body. It's an amazing concept. Hyperthyroidism is not as common as hypothyroidism, but it's becoming more. Most of it is likely due to probably too much thyroid hormone supplements. So you gotta watch it very carefully, but a lot of it is caused by the food we eat, which contains the plant phytochemicals, the plant antigens that elicit the thyroid-like substances and or the thyroid-like substances that we think are coming from our thyroid, but it's coming from something we drink or eat, in my sense. So you need to control that. Change the diet, narrow as an arrow. Add the fat, one meal a day. Cook it well. Kill the bacteria, the yeast, and the microorganisms. And you want to disarm, disarm uh, the micro of uh, the phytochemicals that may be contributing factor to that. But that's why we check thyroid hormones and thyroid antibodies and look at that carefully and keep an eye on that. I think it's really, really helpful by the way. The way is the keto way, Kilsa's way, just, but it's all fun by the way. We're just having fun in this conversation and it's hard, but how can you have fun even in this fertility journey? When you're angry, sad, mad, Put it out there, journal it, write it down, share it with our team. Uh, this team, the village, the more we share it, the more we get it off our back, relieves our stress and anxiety, voila, bingo, it just happens naturally. Will I stop omnitrope once I start stims? Usually we stay on the omnitrope during stim. You might lower the dose or stay at the same dose. Usually six is that most common dose. We're hearing that it's a little harder to get, a little more costly. Look at Somaderm and Cerevital, uh, the topical and the oral over the counter uh, could be another way to go uh, and usually stay on it. We are using it also for the frozen embryo transfers, uh, but some people have more adverse effects or lower quality or quantity with the human growth hormone. So, like anything, we're doing something, trying something, and seeing what the outcome is. And the outcome can be all over the place. Uh, recurrent pregnancy loss, uh, Jeff P, uh, 111 409, after four of the immune protocol. Next steps advice chronic kystiocytic intravillocytis, CHI. Uh, one of you guys shared that with me recently. It's the stuff we've really been talking about. There is a lot of chronic systemic inflammation going on everywhere. Some of that inflammation is natural and normal and important for our bodies and for the reproduction of the universe. But for one reason or another, it's damaging the blood flow to the early implanting embryo, the microvascular inflammation and the lymphatics, by the way, and so there's all this histiocytic 
white cell infiltration, which damages our body. So you get a bee sting or you get a bite and it gets red and swollen and painful. It's all the same stuff, but happening at a level that you and I can't see. It's deep within. And so this is where you got to start here and here. And you have to learn and listen. And if what you're doing isn't working, don't give up on it. But you might look at alternatives. Now, if it's not Humira, Simzia, IVIG, is it LIT? Is it a complete shift and change in your diet? Remember, the diet should be the life plan. And I say we're not adding the really natural fats from animals. That's part of the problem. And don't forget laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, and don't forget the sperm side too. So keep reading, keep listening, keep learning, and recognizing they're all stressed and strained in life from something. Exactly what and why, boy, bingo, that's not always so easy to understand. But it's going through our lives and don't give up. That's the most important thing. But also consider maybe a gestational carrier or a surrogate. There may be enough end stage damage to the utero placental bed that we can't fix. But let's not give up on it. You've got to read about chronic histiocytic intervillocytis and look at Plaquenil, Prograf, Neupogen. Uh, don't forget the simple, easy stuff are of less mighty best. All right. Uh, Isha, MW for life, midwife. I, MW, midwife. How possible is it to conceive with IVF after tubal ligation? Never had an issue with fertility. Would just like to bypass my knots to have another baby. Depends on the age, the AMH, but you got to always walk into it that this is going to happen. It's possible. I'm not going to just walk away from this. I'm going to give it a shot, a do, right? Do or do not. There be no trimaster Yoda. And you, again, none of us can do the test and look at the AMH and look at your FSH and your age and say it's going to work or not going to work. We have to be open in this universe that it's going to work. I'm going to be positive and persistent and move into this journey with the outcome as a knowing. But remember, the how it works, we have to give that up to the master called God within every man and woman, child in the universe. That's where he, she, it lies, and don't give it up. But basically, under 40, under 45, I've done reversals and it's worked. I've done IVF and it's worked. So 45 to 50 plus, a little more challenging, but again, I can't tell you, and none of us can tell you, but let's do everything we can to filter and put in the right stuff here, the right stuff here, and let's move with intent of kindness, love, patience, joy every single day. And don't give it up. Hey, Rachel, Patrick, how you doing? Uh, let's see, Angela, I had a uh, hypo during pregnancy and now have grades. Remember, it doesn't matter whether you're pregnant or not, the universe of the things that are flowing through our bodies, remember, it, it's in everything. The virus, bacteria, the yeast, the micro macroorganisms, the bits and particles of everything are flowing through us. And they then dustify and they deposit everywhere thyroid, ovaries, testicles, kidneys, heart, every nook and cranny of our body is a wash in the dust of everything. And it's going to get there. And graves, and whether you're pregnant or not, uh, it's all happening. And remember, the one meal a day and the Fasting, fertile fasting is the most important thing. When I, I say the early pregnancies and you're feeling the nausea and vomiting, don't eat. A little bit, that's it. And remember, the sips or chips of ice can be helpful too. But most of all, if what you've been doing isn't working, you've got to be radical in this process. You have to imagine that it's there already. But thyroid disorders, uh, preeclampsia, uh, hypertension and inflammation deep within our bodies is always happening. We need to modify it, slowing it down. Oh, acupuncture, I hear it's coming. 
the massage therapist will work it to get us all back. And remember, we need to get out there. We're going to risk all the things that happen in life. That's the hard part to this journey, right? It's crazy. Uh, NMN and NAD supplements. Uh, let's see. I think all of them are okay. The right one, we don't know. For me, I don't do any supplements. I just, again, it's a little coffee, a little tea, mostly some water. Uh, I eat the one meal a day. At night, it's fatty meat for me. Uh, you can cook the carbs well, add the fat. Essentially, does the same thing because protein, remember, essential proteins, amino acids, essential fats, fatty acids, but zero essential uh, uh, carbohydrates, by the way. But I think that if you look at the Theramegas, uh, the supplements are really pretty complete. Uh, we're coming out with our uh, uh, molecular fertility stuff pretty soon, uh, and so more to come on that. Uh, all right, haven't secured donor yet. Could discount for add-on donor aid be extended through June? What do you guys think? Should I extend the discount through June, July, and August? Because we're all coming back. The team is working overtime, by the way. They are so busy. My embryology team, my OR team, everyone is really doing it. So gratitude, attitude to all of them. I'm working on how we can all be patient, all right? So thumbs up if we should continue it. All that stuff, we're working on it. And I'm going to probably say, guess what? And... I'm working on, when you bring your own donor egg, sperm, or embryos, to make it still the easiest process. Uh, if we're not having to find the donors, we're going to make it easy for you, by the way. Uh, almost like it's a shared uh, uh, process. That's what we're going to do. Make it easy, continue easy, although it's hard, isn't it? It's all hard. But uh, uh, Miss Chin, 1977. The answer is yes. I may even continue the 5% discount uh, through, uh, through June uh, and uh, maybe beyond, but we're working on it. We're really getting working on a dating app for a sperm embryos and uteruses that we can make it easy for all of us to be the village, but we're the drivers and directors of this because it's getting to medicine. Look at Look, we're all in the medical field, all of us together. And who's in charge of your Ferrari, right? Your Linus and Lion. We are the temples. Remember, we are not an amusement park. If you treat yourself like that, that's what you get, by the way. Uh, estrace priming. So uh, the estrogen, human growth, and other priming. Estrace priming, which we're talking about a little bit more, a little bit, one to two milligrams, not high dose, maybe for two to four weeks, helps suppress the LH and FSH from the pituitary to open up the receptors on the ovary so that when you hit it with either a mini standard or high dose of gonadotropin, we're gonna, you're going to have an opening to get the egg responding and maturing and then releasing. So we're beginning, you know, it's interesting how we sort of went away from it, but we're going to come back to it. Remember, Kielsa's Keto is kick-ass amazing. It's not a diet. I'm not trying to tell you to lose weight. Use the weight. Remember, the fat is always the fuel for your fetus. Our bodies always burn fat, never burn sugar. Sugar is not our fuel. Fatty acids are always. And if you don't have fat, it's not good for your fetus. So eat the fat. And again, this isn't about you better be thin and lose weight. It's not the issue. It's because the belly is filled with complex, healthy carbs, which are dangerous. So yes to the estrogen priming. We're working a little bit more on a little bit of human growth and priming for maybe two to four weeks max, and then going right to a stem continuing on the human growth, and maybe even continue a little bit of the estrogen, but typically, boom, we stop it. But more and more, we can continue it with a little bit of letrozole, the mini standard or high dose, which is kind of the 200, the 400, and the 600 dosing to get those ovaries to respond. 
And don't forget, acupuncture, massage, and of course, meditation and prayer, and visualize where you want it to be. But yes, yes, yes. And I got another, let's see, where's it? I got a text this morning uh, about the adverse effects of, of, um, of all the silicon and stuff that gets in our body. Um, uh, hold on one second. I'm communicating. Well, we're all communicating, right? We're all communicating in ways that we're learning new ways. But don't forget to communicate with the people around you, in front of us. Even with these masks, we can, and I do a lot of air hugs and a lot of gratitude and a lot of love. That's, that's really the key. Give me one. I, I, I am going to make a quick call. It's crazy, right? Take a moment. Hey, sweetie, can I call you after 11? It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. Call you after 11? Is that all right? All right, here. Bye. I missed the call to Miss Tia, and I... Just wanted to get back because, you know, when you miss a call, you're supposed to be there. You want to get there and do the best we can because we have to take care of our loved ones. And remember, so much of our sad, mad, angry, and fearful nature sometimes come out in the lions and the lionesses. We want to be the pussycats, right? Step back. And we got to take care of the people around us, right? And we all have those things going on in our lives where sometimes we run away. All right. Uh, removing my remaining fallopian tube in 10 days. DC hysteroscopy then on to the cycle after priming. Bad tubes should be removed, by the way. They, they, they contain a lot of inflammation, right? It's an abscess. Uh, one of our, our patients had a little bit of inflammation and infection at the site of, an, of surgery. It's just persistent. The bacterium yeast just loves us. I've got a little bit... You know, we have these little bit of areas all over because we're just a culture dish. That's the amazing part, to, by the way. Hey, Chris and Martinez, uh, let's see. Russia Hunter, God bless you. And we're all working this journey together. BTW, right? Uh, let's see. HCG is successful pregnancy. Uh, can you all give HCG to help that? Don't forget HCG boosters, keto boosters, LDN boosters, CBD boosters. But remember, the fertile life is within the brain. The brain is the main driver of it all. That is the kick-ass, amazing part of the story. And so we don't talk enough about the boosters. Boosters are the 10,000 of HCG with 10 cc's of the, the uh, solution and drop a quarter cc, 250 units a day. That's been the general booster I use. You can use it for guys to boost H, to boost sperm function, motility, morphology, and testosterone. And it might even boost libido and natural fertility. By the way, 20 times, I don't know how many I've done it, a lot. Uh, had second transfer this month and went for HCG yesterday, 184. Rock on. Remember, keto, kick-ass, amazing, through fertility, through the journey of pregnancy, and through life. And CBD, LDN, I say throughout. A lot more of the immune three and four. And we're going to talk more about chronic histiocytic intervillocytis, but that's too complicated. Chronic inflammation everywhere. The most important parts are in the microvascular lymphatic environment of the testicles and the ovary and the uterus. That's the most important challenge that we need to do better on. And it's all a microenvironment, just like these viruses are reminding us, oh shit. You know, we think, oh my God, I wash my face and my hands and my body and I'm all clean. Uh-uh. They're there, you can't get rid of them no matter what you do. They own us. 
but they're the reason we're even alive. The DNA is being moved around the universe, and we're just another life form for the outpicturing of the universe. Uh, does HCG trigger mature eggs better than double lupron trigger? It is likely about the same. I do recommend a lupron HCG trigger if your estrogen is less than 3,000, but use a little bit. If you're really at high risk of OHSS, ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, lupron only, double trigger is what I recommend. But if it's not working one time, Let's change it up. Hey, Rony Turner, how you doing? Angela DePetta. Uh, oh, a number of my team members in the financial the, are taking some time off. We are just like the massive wave is hitting us. We're all going like this. We're trying to get the reed to put it up so we can breathe while we're underwater. So we all have to work on patience every day. Get out a good book. I've been reading The Cave and the Light about Aristotle and Plato. I love reading, listening to books, faith. Check out drkilts.com, my mind, body, smile. I put out a couple of, you know, my Coffee with Kilts videos because it just gives me joy to share. And you guys give me a great vibration of continuing to be creative. Uh, let's see. Hey, Laura uh, Horowitz and Donnie Drew. Uh, let's see. Uh, HCG. So, the HCG combined Lupron trigger, I like. I like the 25 to 5 to 10,000 of HCG, especially if you're in a mini protocol, you're doing a letrozole trigger intercourse by UI. Uh, even natural. Remember, we are here to work on natural fertility first. And check out Maria and Craig Emmerich stuff. And thankfully, Maria and Craig put out a carnivore. But remember, whether you're vegan or vegetarian, or standard something in the middle, Mediterranean like me, an Italian family heritage, carnivore is, in my opinion, the very best. But when we say it, it's intermittent feasting. Eat less frequently. Cook them well, add the fat. So the bacon, eggs, butter, beef, and ice cream. And I'm going to change it to add in something else. But variety is deadly. I, we love variety in the spice of life. I know. We love dancing and music and poetry and pottery and painting. So don't forget to put yourself in those. Thoughts on false positives. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. And we're talking pregnancy tests. Uh, we're talking about other false positive things. Uh, there's a lot of false positives, but there's mostly false negatives. And we have to recognize that it's all part of the journey and joining and learning process. But the more you keep in the game, the more the game's going to give you a win. And in some way or another, we're already, already the winners of the universe. And remember, Go take some time by yourself, with your family, your friends. Some way or another, we have to remember we're herd animals. We're not lonely little tigers out there. We're in the herd. That's where we come together and do our very best work, and that's why we're joining, joining here. Oh, timeline for PIRPHCG wash. One to seven days prior to transfer, I think. Intralipids, one to seven days. Uh, even earlier in the cycle or monthly prior to, especially the PRP HCG, to help the natural environment of what's going on in our bodies, by the way. And don't forget, for guys, you got to clean it up. you got to get rid of all the, the alcohol, the running, the, and you got to slow it down. I know everyone wants the Peloton, right? But more meditation, yoga, prayer, visualization... Uh, yeah, yeah, here, uh, let's see, hair Perlon, hi, 40 years young, IUI can work, sex can work, if sex can work, IUI can work, IVF can work, 
it all can work when you put your mind to it, for the mind is the master of the universe, and if you haven't read James Allen, The Mind is the Master, that's what we gotta really work into. Remember, medicine is mental first. And really the part about medicine that I'm learning through the years I've been doing this is that the connection to people. We are all human and make mistakes. That's the nature of the universe. But the mistakes that happen are part of the journey. Good luck, luck, hello. Uh, Esther's priming, talk about that, moving up and down. How's everyone doing? 30 minutes. For hormones that are out of whack, is it possible to titrate them out so the balance is restored? I, I hit a button and I saw a lot. So, the DEPA, hormone imbalance is due to inflammation and the phytochemicals that we're putting in our body that are phytohemagglutinins, phytoandrogens, testosterones, androgens, uh, estrogens, and progestins. We are consuming the things that make us out whack. And so to restore the balance, keep reading our uh, The Fertile Secrets, our, our family building guide. Uh, go to our website, drkilts.com and cmarkkill.com. But absolutely, but it's not simply, well, let me add this pill and this pill. It really is a global approach. Uh, the, we might call it a shotgun, but shotguns are painful, but a blanket and a global blanket approach can be helpful. So find those things that so many naturopaths and chiropractors and, and all the advisors we're bringing into this that resonate with you that'll make and help it work, I think are really the key. This is where LDN, CBD, and Kilt with Keto, I think are important. The acupuncture, massage, and meditation, important. If what's going on in your body, if you keep doing what you're doing, it's insanity, right? It may be a little bit of estrogen, human growth hormone, but those are treatments that that are somewhat artificially manipulating our bodies, and we recognize that. We do use a lot of pills, shots, and surgeries. But it might take the aspirin and the steroids that help modulate the inflammation or the antibiotics, the antifungal antivirals. That's where I think we're moving more to. I'm not a big fan of probiotics. I am definitely not. And I'm not a fan of fiber, high fruit fiber, vegetable diet. If you're going to eat those things, cook them well and add the fat, as I mentioned. But and I know I'm kind of going be, beating around the bush or dancing around the bush. It might be a better way to have that conversation. Imbalance is mostly inflammation. And yet imbalance pushes us forward to seek new and different in this process. And so we're working, I'm not a big fan of birth control pills, but temporarily using the hormones may help modify our, our, our numbers in order to then add something else to get it into the motion of working better. Does 1% morphology matter if doing ICSI? So DNA fragmentation and morphology issues do matter a little bit with even uh, ICSI, where we inject sperm into the eggs, but that is typically the treatment for those things. But remember the global approach, reduce inflammation in the egg source, the sperm source, and the uterine carrying source. And uh, the LDN, CBD, ovacetol, and maybe even a little bit of metformin, uh, I do 500, maybe 250, Maybe the two to four weeks of antifungal, antiviral, and antibacterial uh, may help, but yes, the ICSI is helpful for that. I don't do a lot of, we might look at it and say, boy, morphology is low and DNA fragmentation is high. Maybe we should work on fixing that, but it really is the same global approach. When you go to our website, cmyfertility.com, go to the patient portal, go to the resource page, Look at the simple guide. 
there's a lot of there's a long list of things that will help in the process for sure uh caitlin huffy so good question uh rachel uh cabrales cabrales uh good morning uh prussian blue oh, hello uh false let's see i'm scrolling up and down thanks to everyone for sticking with me it's my hour okay again i'm going to be off uh until probably Wednesday. Let me see if I can get the date here. Uh, let's see. Wednesday the 3rd, I'm going to be back on, taking some time off. Uh, but Dr. V uh, is going to be joining in. Uh, uh, Jennifer Waters uh, is going to be doing hers on acupuncture. Uh, Don Clark hopefully will get involved. Uh, let's see. Uh, Fayez, Montreal. Uh, really getting our team to continue sharing, Justine, all of us together. And there's so many on the Instagram page and the Facebook page. I'm seeing so many other fertility specialists, uh, whether you're MD, DOs, or uh, naturopaths, acupuncturists, and just all of us together sharing the journey and learning together. Uh, I'm just here learning from all of you guys, by the way. Uh, the May discount, uh, would the discount include Frozen's? Again, the Frozen's are separate, uh, but the 5% discount, we're going to continue. Uh, the Frozen's are going to go to 650 June 1, but we're really still a very, very affordable. Keeping the 3900 the 5% discount through June, by the way, is rock solid, amazing, which really puts it all together. Uh, and, and the extension of the year... Uh, if, if again, if you haven't had a baby, if you've had a baby, then then the 19 plus is is the is the next cycle. But it's the cohort plus 650. Uh, we're really working to continue our financing plans. Uh, nephew Will is really working on our Shopify and and partially and how we can continue to make it work. Uh, 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 and you can decline the genetic testing, by the way. You must either get it or decline it. There's too much genetic testing, in my opinion. If you want to do PGS testing, uh, per embryo charge, I think biopsies for CNY, we're going to make it $100. Uh, and uh, remember, prices change at any time. If you pre-buy, you lock in, but you've got to buy it ahead of time to lock into that, by the way. All uh, right, IVF donor transfer patient who has hormonal imbalance. Uh, we, through a lot of the work we do, we're going to change the imbalance and put you in the best. Remember, the values are, there's, a, there's large, large values in all of that. Uh, so knowing the right one is not so simple, by the way. I did say it again, didn't I? You know, it's just part of the, the you know, the um, the okay, the BTW. Uh, let's see. Do my first uh, day three at BT around mid June. Any tips to share? So, uh, Kara, faith and food is fertility. We are the lions and the lionesses, not the Hugos, no pigs, the Ferraris. That's in who and what we are. Remember, pick some positive, faithful belief that you can tap into for the mental. Journey is the number one thing to start into. I'm having a baby. How's it happening? When's it happening? I don't know. Don't lock into that. Let it be and keep moving forward. LDN, CBD, and the immune protocol, one, two, three, or four, something. And we are all learning together on the journey. I'm going to get into the pottery studio, maybe make a little more fertile cup. And... I'm going for some airplane training uh, in Orlando this next week and uh, learning constantly. New things build the mind. The mastery is through the constantly learning. Never, ever, ever stop learning. And if you're watching something creative on, on the TV or the devices, but be listening and learning in the process of inspired. You want to be inspired every day. Remember, we're the gladiators of life. Jump into it, okay? 
Uh, do you see pretty good chance of pregnancy? One, two, gone, one block, 33 years young. Remember, how young am I? 64. Wow. Uh, awesome. Since will be coming with me for my frozen transfer with the new policies in place, will she be able to come into the room with me? As long as she meets the criteria, no fever, no contact, uh, wearing a mask, and uh, we are open to that. I'm really working on some new ideas for our Albany transfer space. we got to do something to make it so there's three little spaces. I might be, i got some ideas. We're working on some stuff upstairs, some space downstairs. I'm really proud of my embryology team, my doctors, and, and all the team members in Albany because they're really, we're really busy this week and we just all have to be patient in the process. And if your temperature's a little high, uh, we, we're just all working together. And uh, I don't know, New York State in this COVID testing, I'm working on ways to get us all moving forward. Proves male sperm count of motility, con, con, 10, 13, 10. All right, remember, what's the cause of infertility? Male and female, it's inflammation. And so it kills with keto. It's mind, body, smile. In the mind, you find the vibration of the body and put a smile on it. But reduce inflammation in the testicles. Cool it down. Slow it down. Kilt is keto. Kick ass. Amazing. Acupuncture, massage, and visualization. And the more ejaculates, so if you're holding off on ejaculates because you want to store the sperm, not good. Daily or every other day, it helps the sperm. LDN, CBD, Ovacetol, uh, and Conception XR for guys help a lot, by the way. BTW. I just, maybe I'm going to have the BTW on my shirt. Uh, be the way. Uh, BTW is be the way because we're on the way, the journey of life. Never ask why. Repeat what you mentioned about the PGS testing and locking in the price. Missed that. Uh, so we had changed the biopsy fee to $200 per embryo. I'm changing it to $100 per embryo, but it can change at any moment. Uh, so talk to our team, and they're a little schizophrenic because of my schizophrenia. And then they're like, what did he say on the live? Angela, I'm sorry. Chris, I'm sorry. And Sharon, I'm sorry. And all my team members that... I throw it out there, but they are the last answer to this, not me, but I'm working to make it so much more affordable. Uh, uh, five hours there and a lot of well, well, 25 minute doctor appointment. God, so my team, Dr. Grossman, did cough. God bless them. We're all different vibration and energy. Did cough, Grossman, uh, Corley, Lutheraner, Shang, D'Souza. Bertie Alice, uh, Dr. Faruqi, all of us are vibration and energy of differences. Oh, and Sue in Albany, uh, we're going to miss you. We're really grateful for all the amazing work. Share what we have to say, and the more we're all learning together, maybe help my team to get the information to you in so many different ways, but my team is working there. We gotta slow us all down. We gotta make it so it's efficient. So you can download the consents, the declining this and that, and getting all your pre-testing well before you even come in for your consult. We're really working on that as much as we can. Terra uh, Detox Kills I'm not sure what a detox pill really is. The best way to detox is some water, a little coffee or tea, one meal a day, get rid of the fruits, fiber, and vegetables, and all this juicing, uh-uh, deadly in my opinion, and go on a fast. But intermittent fasting is not it. Intermittent feasting, once a day meal, at night, rest and digest, and don't forget my ice cream. Kiltus Keto ice cream is kick-ass amazing. A little bit of chocolate or a little bit of vanilla, but you can just do a little bit of white sugar in the cream with or without the egg. It's a home run. BTW. Uh, can you talk about if we should keep or transfer more embryos? 
Listen, why would you throw an embryo away if it developed into a morula, put it in or freeze it? Now, day five morulas, if we're waiting day six and seven, it should be an expanded blast. So we do fresh transfers, frozen transfers. We do day two, three, four, fives, and sixes, and occasionally day sevens. We do them all. Why? Because it's worth. There's not one way in this universe to do things. There's infinite ways. We need to be open to all of them, by the way. Christiane Morris Seals, hello. Uh, when I'm ready, I want you to do my... Listen, if I'm there, I'm doing it. I'm not always there. But that's where Dr. Luther, your thank you, Dr. Cordy, thank you, Grossman, Ditkoff, Chang, uh, Dr. D'Souza, Dr. Verdi Allison, Dr. We're getting them into the next level. But your docs, at all levels, we're grateful to your OB-GYNs, fertility docs, gynecologists, uh, endometriosis specialists, or your primary cares, we're all working at this together. Uh, we will help on, listen, if, if that higher price of 200 again, I just changed it, uh, we'll work it out so uh, it all is, is in the mix that you're not going to be overcharged and everyone's getting a lower price, by the way. But... Uh, it's always a work in progress. Uh, HSG versus SHG. I like the hysterosalpingram and a saline sonogram at the same time. But, you know, if you think and know your tubes are open, you don't need to repeat it. You don't even have to do an HSG, SHG. You can decline it. We can do an evaluation at the time of a retrieval. And we can look at it. And if you decide you're doing a freeze-all cycle, we might even be able to do a quick saline sonogram a quick mini hysteroscopy, and then schedule you for an operative procedure uh, at some other time. CCW. Can I do, can one or two falcons become too big during stems? They can be larger. They still might have an egg. And so you got to aspirate and drain every single follicle. That might be a cyst if it doesn't have an egg, but it's a follicle if it has an egg. Sometimes we'll do a retrieval not knowing if we're going to get an egg out of you or not. But we're here to do something, and we're always here. If we get nothing, we have great discounted pricing for another cycle if you get nothing. Eight fresh donor eggs, which made seven day three embryos last transfer coming up, all failed so far replace four to six donor eggs as the first down. We don't replace eggs if you make embryos. If we think it's an egg issue, you buy eggs. It's just like buying sperm and doing an IVF. Uh, if it's bad eggs and we think we gave you a bad batch, we'll help. But bad eggs, bad sperm can make a bad embryo. And there's a lot of failures, but you're going to buy another set of eggs. They're going to be the laboratory fees. We still make it the most affordable. Uh, lunar phase retrieval nine days ago. Progesterone tested high yesterday. Uh, the the progesterone levels are all over the place. There there's not a narrow range when we look at estrogen and progesterone and say oh that's the number. There's a lot that happens after ovulation. We do a lot of PESA and egg retrievals at the same time. Oh Dr. Trussell, we got to keep him in the loop. He's amazing. Uh, Dr. Grossman, thanks, Jens, 915. So we do retrievals of sperm and eggs at the same time, but not always. So it all is a matter of if it all comes together. Uh, let's see, Mr. Kara, hello. Uh, let's see, Stephanie, uh, Twin, hello. Uh, Joanne, uh, determine who gets what immune protocol. It's a little bit based on uh, history, numbers, uh, any uh, uh, contributing factors like I have, I have an autoimmune disease, chronic fibromyalgia, ALS, MS, uh, Crohn's, irritable bowel, arthritis, psoriasis. Hey, you have an obvious immunologic condition. For me, it's all inflammation. But you're younger, it's just, hey, I'm not ovulating, let me try a letrozole trigger, immune one, if I, hey, I don't want to try all those big guns, uh, but look at and download the, the, the page on, on uh, inflammation, immune protocols, one, two, three, and four. A lot of great stuff there, and, and I've been trying to get it out there. Will has put it connected to some of our magazines that are out there. 
so let's not give up. After his thoroscopy, Steph, uh, you could do the transfer uh, two to four weeks later. Usually, I say three to four weeks later. You, we can do we can do a hysteroscopy scratch at the beginning of a cycle, just with your menses. But once we get you on the estrogen, then the progesterone, you, you don't want to disturb it. By the way, are all the meds you prescribe mandatory? I have no mandatory anything. You can do a natural cycle, no medications, uh, and, and retrieval IUI intercourse cycle with or without immune protocols, with or without genetic testing. We don't have a mandate. We're here to give you our ideas and what we think and believe. But I am open to change, shift, and creativity always. Lead follicles. I don't know how to avoid a lead follicle, but this is where you push through the lead. You might lose the lead and have an ovulation, but you still may have those other follicles and eggs. This is where maybe a week or two of estrogen then start a stem with or without a period, do a freeze all or a fresh transfer in all of this. PCOS, two failed back to back IUIs, husband sperm count is good. Alexandra Jean, keto, keto, keto. Male and female, look inside, look for endometriosis, uh, chronic intra abdominal pelvic inflammation. Endometriosis is a bowel issue. It comes from chronic and acute inflammation in the bowels. It started moments after we were born uh, based on the wrong diets for a lioness and a lion. Uh, but don't give up. Try something different. Now, keto, uh, acupuncture, massage. Uh, look at laparoscopy, sclerosis, ovarian drilling. Look at the, the immune one, two, or three, or four in some cases, mostly one or two. Letrozole, a little bit of injectables, a little bit of going left, Folostim or Medicure, and or with low-dose HCG. Uh, all that, I think, can help. Uh, egg retrieval in Atlanta. I'm working on 2021. We're already putting in the, the brain power. Dr. V and I are chit-chatting. Uh, we're getting Buffalo going, Colorado going. And once all of that's going, we're going to be flowing. We're sharing ways, but we have to all be patient in the process. It's not an easy thing for a human being to be patient. We want things now. We want it our way. We then want to be reactive, yelling, screaming, being mad, sad, and angry. Woo! Husband has a low sperm count. Do I have a possible to get conceived with IVF? He's 39 years young and 31. Mrs. Razel Germain. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, you have an awesome chance. Again, even with intercourse IUI or IVF, look at our stuff on male and female. I don't know what your gender or transgender is, your size, shape, age, color. We're all part of this human village of creativity. Let's come together. We can help absolutely. Just look deep into our download on Amazon. Uh, go to the download of our, our Feral Secret book, our Keto book, uh, the Fertile Feast book is coming out, and our family building guide. And we're really working together. And check out Ken Berry's stuff. Uh, check out uh, Kevin Stock's stuff. Uh, check out um, uh, Eve's, uh, the Andres Ianfeld, uh, and Maria Emmerich. We're all working together in this crazy journey of life. Thanks so much, by the way. Oh, for joining me. Uh, and I enjoy connecting with everyone. And if you ask if I'm in the office, and I will stop by and say hi if I can, if I'm there. I enjoy it, by the way. We're all working together on this crazy-ass journey of life. Do you recommend Nupogen two to three months prior? I don't typically like the Nupogen two to three months. I use the Nupogen for two to four weeks with transfer cycles, with stim cycles. It's another one where we don't have the exact science of who should get what. But if you're doing uh, Jada Hayes, if, you're, if what you're doing isn't working, hey, I've been reading about this. I want to try this, do this. Google it, read about it, and we'll come to your, uh, your spot and, and help you in this journey. Incompetent cervix, my last FET, premature birth, internal, get a, a tech, uh, shots longer than 12 weeks. Would you recommend staying on progesterone shots longer? 
stand the shots 18 to 28 weeks or the vaginal go nearly to term don't forget lipids IVIG and kills with keto immune protocol throughout pregnancies throughout life by the way much of my joy in this journey is not just fertility but a fertile life it's what you put in this guy here for all of us right uh, what vitamins do you prep for IVF so if you go to our website download the uh, the the immune I'm sorry the the simple guide look at our magazines there's a lot in there right now conception XR uh, we're working on our new uh, uh, the the uh, uh, I can't my brain is like losing it uh, uh, in all of this. But molecular fertility, it's all on a molecular basis. It's on an atomic basis. It's so small, the vibration of the universe. But ultimately, that smallness is everything. So that, look at that. Hey, uh, let's see. Recommend uh, Kua, uh, uh Kumu, hello? Uh, do U Mong. And if I pronounce your name incorrectly, please forgive me. I'm learning on this journey each and every day with all of those. Uh, what snacks good for Kilsis Keto? I do a little bit of salami, a little bit of cheese. I might take the steak and slice it up on a little bit, dip it in a little bit of butter. Um, my ice cream is a good snack. A little chocolate and occasionally some popcorn with lots of butter. Uh, those are the things I do. Occasionally I'll have some sourdough bread with a lot of butter, but from time to time I stay away from celery or carrots or fruits and vegetables. Seasoned nuts, to me, uh-uh. Uh, I would rather go for the thing that is going to reward me, that dark chocolate. Uh, I, I love white chocolate. That is like the home run for me. Miss Tia loves to get me this white chocolate. And she takes good care of me. I'm well taken care of on the steaks, eggs, bacon, butter, cream, ice cream. All right. And don't forget, pull out the journal. Just write every day. Share the stories of your life. Get into the pottery, painting, poetry. Pick up an instrument. Play. And it's an awesome and amazing journey and we're all going to die before we die let's make some mistakes let's continue on this fertile journey of life in every way we can scientists by the way i'm a scientist first math and science was the way I couldn't read dyslexic uh let's see uh in plants we know there are clearly defined genetic basis in hybrid incompatibility versus hybrid vigor we also know genetic basis of suppression, promotion, pre-zygotic, post-zygotic fertilization process. I'm reasonably confident it's not very different in mammals and humans. Boy, that was a lot. ZP2, ZP3, there's a lot. Of, oh, you know, I always go to the simple concept of life. Pre-implantation egg testing and post-zygotic uh, and helps jump the hurdle. Great. Boy, I'll have to read that more. Uh, Want to be parents, any specific low size such as after mentioned to check for any known genetic bases for infertility. All right, listen, the genes are all adversely affected by the same micro and macro environment that takes care of the things that we look on the macro. It really is simple. It's inflammation at all levels and it can all be repaired. We're looking for the complicated answer, but guess what? It's really stupidly simple. That's it. It all starts in the spirit, in the mind, of mental capacity to look at the positive side of life. And we're looking for the scientific, but ultimately I'm going to tell you the spirit and the belief in the higher power trumps all science. That's where the faith and vibration of love for all of us will answer the question more than the scientist. And the scientist is just making up a story that we want to hold on to like it's all so right, but God is ultimately trumps it all. And when a scientist can imagine that the spirit of life is in God, which is the vibration and energy of all of us. So thank you guys for sharing your thoughts and ideas. The genetics, it's not the genetics. It's not nuclear genetics, it's metabolic. That is it. It's the mitochondrial metabolic bias that you've got to look at. Check it out. All right. God bless you guys. I'll see you in a week and a half-ish. 
where I might jump in for a little bit. God bless. See you guys. Bye.